Art. Is it genetic? or a gift from the heavens, or something else entirely. I feel like we have a tendency to want to come up with an excuse on why we're not succeeding at our chosen adventures. It's genetics, it's this, it's that. No, it's probably the amount of work you are or are not putting in. We've all heard it. Who did you inherit your talent from? That isn't how talent works at all. Now, I'm not going to claim that genetics play no role at all. I do think that they can be a factor in the way your brain works. So maybe the creative ideas that you come up with, or simply your desire to pick up that paintbrush or pencil in the first place. Congratulations. Now you can draw a super detailed, super creative stick figure. Hooray, yay! It's genetics. You can credit genetics, you can credit the heavens, you can credit the phase of the moon. It's only going to take you so far. You might be thinking, well, why do I often see where entire families, generation after generation, are artists? That comes down to your exposure. You could say the same thing about gardening. When one parent is really into gardening, it's not uncommon for the children to get involved and be interested. And if the parent teaches them, it may appear like that child is abnormally gifted at gardening, or in our case, art, because they were exposed at a young age. Age and were guided from a young age. But that's not genetics, that's environmental. When it comes to improving your technical skill, when it comes to improving how you handle that paint or that pencil, that is the work you put in. You, nothing else, you. It doesn't just slap you in the face because reasons, no matter how bad you want that to be the case. Don't ever feel like because you don't have a family tree full of artists that you can't be a good artist. I'm the only artist in my family. It definitely didn't come from anything in my genetics, which is probably a good thing because my genetics are a bit of a nightmare. If you want to become amazing, you have to put in the hours, you have to do the work. You can't expect to get some kind of a boost up because of genetics, because of any other reason. And you are going to draw a lot of really terrible things. Really terrible. They're going to be bad. Before you get to that point where things start turning around. We all start at zero. What you often do not see is those who have become more established or more technically advanced with our work have painted hundreds or thousands of paintings and drawings in our lifetime. I'm not generally sharing all of the absolute crap I have created, and dear God, there's a lot of it. I'm not sure what it is about art specifically, but people have this concept of you either have it or you don't. You either good or you're not. No, you either learn how to do it or you don't. If you decided that you were meant to be a doctor, it doesn't matter how many doctors are in your family tree. You're going to have to study. You're going to start at zero. It doesn't matter if you felt that becoming a doctor was a gift from God. You're not going to just run around the neighborhood and start slapping band-aids on people's foreheads. Still got that headache? Thanks. Ow! You stubbed your toe? Yeah. <laughs> I got something for that. Why are you running? Wade, are your grass allergies bothering you again? I'll take care of that. It's better, right? What are you doing? You're not a doctor! It's a calling. Or anything else, same thing, a mechanic. You're not just instantly going to know how to fix a car. You learn. We all start at zero with every craft, every profession that we want to get into. There is just this myth about art that you've got it or you don't. No, it's something you are going to work for. So don't feel like you can't progress because of your family genetics or that you weren't gifted or called to become an artist. You can do whatever you want, as long as you're willing to put in the work. There is no genetic shortcut. Although, quick shameless plug here, I can help you speed along your progression. If you want to become one of my students, you can head over to Patreon. Oh, that was a great transition. Head over to Patreon for as little as $4 a month. You get access to all of my tutorials. I've been uploading lessons there for over seven years. So when you sign up, you immediately immediately get 300 lessons in multiple mediums and a new one every week. If you'd like to see what I have available, I will have a link in the video description to my Patreon video library. In the meantime, if you're looking for more art tips, I think you will like this video here.